Day three was Azhar Ali's. Here he goes, he's taken it on, he's opened up and played it really well. As the opener posted a maiden double century against Australia. What a moment for Azhar Ali, what a moment. 200 in a Boxer Day Test match at the MCG. But David Warner returned serve with a century of his own, as Australia chased a mammoth first innings total. 1700s in just 59 Test matches, his second against Pakistan. Mitchell Stark claimed an early wicket. Going to work, so got him! Yes, he has! The old leg glance and Mitchell Stark strikes. Good catch. As Azar continued on his scoring ways. Shot, and that'll be 150 to Azar Ali. Sahel Khan showed the intent. Hitting six. Catch! That's well placed. Very, very well struck and worth everything. After six. Just make him fetch it a bit more and watch it disappear into the bleachers. After six. He does. So Hale goes and as previous, he gets maximum for his efforts. The scoring didn't stop there, though a lapse in urgency left Sahail trudging back. <laughs> Oops, it could be a run out. No, he's home. Guess with 199. This will be tight. I tell you what, he might even be out here. I think you're going to see the out signal, yeah. That didn't deter Azar, reaching a double ton after more than nine hours at the crease. Oh, yeah. It's a half a war, but he's a beautiful double hundred. Wahab handed Hazelwood a milestone. He should be out. The bowler's going to take it. He does. And Hazelwood gets his third wicket, 100 in test cricket for Hazelwood. A very good performance. As Pakistan declared with 443 on the board, Warner came out blazing. Oh, perfect. With the boundary the main target. Short. Dave Warner didn't get all of it, but he got enough of it. His partner tried the same with dire results. There it is, Yassi Shah got him. Try the big shot, Ranchoy. Try the big heave over midwick at the slog sweep. And Yassi Shah was too good. Kawaja then shared the strike. The two looking more and more comfortable in the middle. No ball call and through. Couple point it goes. Water posted 50 as he and Kawaja paired for a century stand. That's nicely played. He's got a couple through there as well. But with three figures in sight, Wahab suffered a bowler's nightmare. Bowls him! On a no ball! Oh dear! Warner raced to his 17th test ton. Gets him to the bottom edge, races away for four. There goes the big jump. This is Toyota. Yes, it is. There he goes. And Kawaja raised the bat too. Pakistan had little answer for the powerful pair as the tourist lead dwindled. Sweet first ball after tea, after drinks in the tea time session, and it's so effective. But with Warner nearing 150, Wahab Riaz forced him onto the back foot and a successful review ensued. I'm going to have to ask you to reverse your decision, please. You're on screen now. Wahab reprised the role of the enforcer, using the short ball against the Australians. Yeah, that's good. Why didn't they do it earlier? Smith and Kawaja saw Australia through to stumps. Kawaja unbeaten on 95, with the host trailing by 165 runs, heading into day four. Well played, Usman Kawaja. The skipper's at the other end on 10. Australia at two for 278, a trail by 165.